Oh wow, this is what my desktop looks like without stacks? Hello everyone, welcome to the Cooking Curbs Coding Class. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make an image map in HTML. Image maps are really cool because you can have it so that when you hover or click only a certain part of an image, it'll do something. So right now I have it set up. I mapped out this yellow car, red car, this white van, this bus with advertisements all over it, and this black car, so that when you put the mouse over them, it says right here, yellow car, red car, white van, bus with ads, and black car. And you could do so for all the cars in the image. All right, let's get started. So to get started, pop open your text editor, or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. The first thing you're going to want to do is make a doc type tag. Doc type doc type HTML. And I'm going to save this file to get the nice HTML colors. And the next thing we're going to want to do is create an image tag. Here we go. M I M G S R C equals and paste in the link to an image, preferably one with a lot of objects in it so that you can label them in the map. Alright. And here's what starts to get interesting. Use map equals and in quotes hash and then the name of your map. Mine is just called map. All right, you've got your image tag done. Next, open up a map tag. Map name equals, and use the same name you made up there. So mine is map. All right, next, make an area tag. Area and Here's where it gets a little complicated. Shape equals, and in quotes, you can do rect for rectangle, circle for circle, and poly for a more complicated polygon. I'm going to do rect for now. And yeah, here's where it gets complicated. Coordinates. You have to map out two points for a rectangle and however many points are in your polygon for a polygon and one and a half points for a circle. I don't actually understand how that works. But here's the problem. You can't really see your coordinates. You can't see them on an image. I don't know where the origin is or anything. So I'm going to add some coordinates, but I've looked all over the image and I actually have no idea where they are. So here we go. C O O R D S for chords equals and in quotes I'm gonna do zero comma zero so that it's either in the center or the bottom left comma one hundred comma one hundred. That's how you do the coordinates. You just do coordinate one and coordinate two like that. Title equals this is so that you can move your mouse over it. I'm just going to put hi. And then href, if you want it to open a link, equals, and you can paste in the link. I'm not going to put anything there. Don't close the tag because it's not one of those tags that you close. Close the map tag and save that file. Now, let's see if we can find the rectangle. I doubt that I'll be able to find it, but why not give it a try? First, I'll just add an on mouse over equals alert, open parentheses, close parentheses, just so that when I hover over it, it'll make an alert box so that I can find it easily. Save that. Oh boy, this is exciting. Next, find the file on your computer. Here it is. Drag it into your new tab. And now, as you can see, it's 
it's kind of hard to find the point. I move my mouse. Oh, oh, oh! It's it's. Ah, uh, dang it! It's up there. The origin is the top left, up here at the top. That is good to know, everyone. But as you can see, finding these points is a blind guess, which is why. I found a handy tool that'll do it for you. I'll put a link to it in the description. But first, let me show you. Just copy the address of that image. And the link is image-map.net. And I'm just going to click load image from website. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to click on continue. All right. And now. You can just add new area. I'm going to go with poly. And you can map out all the points in your shape. And all right, I mapped most of the cars. I have to admit, I got a little bit tired of it, because it takes a lot of time clicking on the outlines, and I don't really need this for anything. So I'm going to stop there. I got a bunch of them, but not all of them. So you click Show Me the Code, and it, it just gives it to you. You can copy it, and I'll show you. This is pretty good. If I just pop over to my text editor and paste in the code. I'll just get rid of this message here. Save that. I'll reload the file. And now, the whole thing is mapped out for you, which is very nice. And you don't have to do all that blind guessing, which is not fun. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch, which I updated three weeks ago, and use promo code SHIP to get free shipping, and remember to look before you go.